Hi everyone. So, I don't even know if my last vlog posted, but I'm having a really bad day today. I start, started Whole30, it turned into Whole3.5 because that's all I could manage. Um, I don't know. I've been having a tough, oh my gosh, I, sw I swear, I'm in front of an auto zone. My shellac is falling off. I think a guy is dealing drugs outside of this auto zone. I'm not even making this up. If I was not scared to get shot, I would like show you. But um, I'm eating tacos and he's watching me. But I'm a mom. Like eating in the car with no children is like the only sacred place I have. So anyway, things are just getting stressful. Next week, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but on the 25th we close. On our ho old house, which is exciting, but it's uh, it's just stressful. Like I don't know, and um, I've been having a hard time with winter. I'm not even like gonna lie. It has been a big challenge, like figuring out her school schedule. She's really tired after school, but it's too late. She gets out too late to take a nap, and it's just like all kinds of boring mom stuff. It's very overwhelming. Um, so yeah, um, I am gonna go back to Whole30, kind of. I'm gonna do like my own form, which it's not really Whole30 then, but I just couldn't do black coffee. And I know there's like all these recipes and I ordered some stuff and I'll try it, but oh, the drug dealer staring at me. So I really should go and I'm really mad about this. It's like these two fingers just peeled off. So that's my life right now. I only got two tacos. So that's like, it's the only thing I've had to eat so far. <sighs> okay. I'm going to read my book in the car for a little bit. Not buy drugs. Um, although I want to be like, what are you selling? Is it anything good? Can it help mama? I'm just kidding. Um, and then I am excited to see the kids because they've been with their other grandparents since yesterday. So um, I'm just having like. I just realized my headlights are on. Okay, like, hi, watch me eat tacos. That's creepy. So, anyway, like, there's not much to say right now. But I just thought I would come in and say hi and update you and just let you know I'm in a really bad mood. And all I can see is 18 chins right now. And it's making me want to go run 8 miles around this parking lot after I take my crack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ugh, humor. It's my defense mechanism or whatever it's called. I don't even know. Y'all see? Big penis just pulled up. Yeah. He decided he should take up three parking spots. Handicapped ones as well. Real nice. Hi, everyone. So, um, I don't know if you've seen me since I got my glasses or not. Anyway, I got glasses and I, oops, I really need them for driving. But I was going to talk a little bit just about I guess why weight loss like weighs so heavily on me I feel like I mention it in every vlog and I have maintained I lost about 15 pounds a few months like maybe two months ago I maintained it but I haven't really I've like kind of lost the same two pounds like and gained them back and it's just like a cycle and I just cannot get into the mind frame I need to get into and I don't know what I mean I'm sure there's a lot of things that go in into it um sorry I'm recording this while I'm like at stoplights and stuff I'm on my way to pick winter up from school and my mom is watching diesel but um I don't know why it's so hard we are in between like homes right now <laughs> oh my gosh I don't even know if I should leave that <laughs> okay so I can't even remember what I was saying because I dropped my phone. I'm in the carpool pickup uh, lane for winter, but I was talking about my weight. Why I talk about it so much? I think it's because I'm just so like physically uncomfortable. Um, Gertrude, the gallbladder, needs to be removed like as of yesterday. So actually, what I'm gonna do when I get home today is call a doctor, make an appointment. Um, I just I don't know. We have so much, we have a lot going on. We are officially 
Um, like, what's my seatbelt doing? It's so weird. I guess I just, I never look at myself while I'm in the car like this. Um, our house in Austin, um, is officially sold. We closed on it. That went really well. I was really nervous because I just felt like everything was going so smooth. Like, I'm like, there's, we've had, like, no issues. So, that was a really good experience. Um, we are supposed to close on a house here in Houston pretty soon. Um... I'd, we decided on a date and we might be able to move it up, but I'm not sure. Um, so part of it is, I'm going to rest you on my steering wheel. Um, we're staying with my parents and the thing is, is like everyone in my family really battles their weight. So we always try to eat healthy. Um, I just, maybe I'm like stress eating, you know, like I don't want to ever admit that I'm like an emotional eater, but I am, and I like food, so you just have to throw that combination in there, and it's like, uh, what is my sweater doing? <laughs> it's like a, a huge thing for like, meh, gain weight, fat alert, like all of that, so, and the kids just keep me so busy, which is good, um, but it's just like, I realized yesterday, I really didn't get, and it's my fault, like, not anyone else's. I didn't really get a moment to myself where I didn't feel exhausted and just out of patience and frustrated. I think a lot of that is just parenthood in general. Um, and then given our situation, is just a little bit added stress. And Lawrence has um, been, he has a really, really long commute to work. And he doesn't, like, his job moves. So it's not forever, but... Um, it's a long commute. So, anyway, I did Whole30 for three days. It was really, really hard. Um, and it was true, like, in the book, it says, like, you're going to feel this way, you're going to feel this way. It is so true. I felt all them ways. And then my, I was just, like, too grumpy. Like, I just, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Um, so, yeah, I lasted three and a half days not proud of that um because I especially feel like when I get determined to put my mind to something as I lost 120 pounds before I do it but this time I just can't and I feel like so physically uncomfortable like that's the thing and I feel like when I walk into a room okay I don't know if this is weird or what when I walk into a room I feel like everybody just looks at me for my weight like I feel like that's just the first thing everybody sees and it their first thought is oh my gosh she's so big like that is honestly what I think so a lot of that I would really like to lose 30 pounds my cousin's getting married in August and I'm super excited I'm a bridesmaid I'm so happy for her and I'm so excited for the wedding um I had a piece of I had a granola bar before I left the house that was lovely um, and I would really love to lose more than 30 pounds before then, but at the rate I'm going, yeah. So I would really like to lose weight for that just to feel good. I mean, it's funny because as I've gotten older, I care less and less about like if like before I'd be freaking out if it was like a sleeveless dress or something. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, who cares? Like, first of all, it's her wedding all I care about is her and that she looks and feels amazing and has a great time and no one's gonna be looking at me and even if they are they probably don't even care that much because um, I know when I look at other people it's so true that quote or I don't know if it's a quote just a saying that we're our own worst critic because it's just so true like when I think of all the people I know I I'm so like I would just never the things I think about myself I would just never think about them so anyway I'm not trying to ramble for too long but I guess it's just been really weighing on my mind and where we moved to or we're moving to which is really it's five miles from my parents house it is a really um, nice area and I guess I do feel like a little like a lot of the moms they go and do like yoga like <laughs> and they're just a really health conscious which I am too I just have a hard time with it I don't know um they're really nice I mean it's not like snobby but you know I just feel like I just know I'm like I feel like I'm the fattest mom 
like of winter's little class i am the fattest mom like it's okay like that's fine but i just wish i felt better about myself so i have started seeing a therapist i've only seen her once she was really nice and i feel like that session was like we were just kind of getting to know each other um she does know my parents so that helps too um but i really want to work on my body image because i don't want winter to grow up with a lot of the same kind of like thoughts and issues I've had because I follow some amazing women on like Instagram and I don't know I feel like I even know people in real life that are so confident and I just want to learn how to build that confidence up for myself if that makes any sense so that's all okay it's about to be my turn so I'll talk to y'all in a little bit did you have a good day at school yeah? Did you have show and tell today? What'd you bring for show and tell? Uh, Elena. Elena? Yeah. Yeah? Did your friends like her? Yeah. Yeah? What uh, What did they bring for show and tell? Um, Ben bring picture of soccer ball. He did? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Did you eat anything special at school today? I, on my lunch. On your lunch? What did you have? You ate all your lunch. And then did you do soup testing? My soup. Yeah? They had soup testing today. So I was going to drive you by our house that we have an offer on, but the mail people just got here and I'm like, probably going to look like such a creep. But anyway, I'll just drive you by. I'll, I can show you. Where is it? It's gosh my car is so dirty we had like okay do you see the light right here that's a walking path it's called the green belt or something like that I think it is called the green belt and it goes like all over the part of Houston we live in and I plan on exercising <laughs> um, but I'll show you I'll drive by um, because I'm really excited I'm hoping we get to close soon because I'm just so ready Okay, so ours is the little one story because funnily enough, we really wanted a one story. So, um, there it is. It's so cute. It does say sale pending, but there it is. Um, so I'm really excited. There's, but anyway, I just kind of want to document it. I know not a lot of people watch my YouTube videos, and that's okay. I do it a lot just for memories. Um, I was going to say something else about it, and I can't remember what I was going to say. I don't think it was that important. Oh, our meal lady looks really nice. Okay, hold on. i got to drive. We're about to turn. So, yeah, we really love the neighborhood, and that was really important to us. What happened? Oh. Hey y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so bad. Um, I just, I was gonna end this vlog now. I probably could have like gotten dressed and <sighs> waited, but um, honestly, sometimes when the day gets started, I'm just too busy. But the kids are at their, their grandparents' house today, so I got to lay in bed for a little while, which is probably the most amazing thing but as you can see my cat is like dying for attention right now <laughs> come here you gotta come up here oh, such a little bugger um but yeah I'm about to get up and get some coffee and get dressed and winter really she's like grown so much over the past um oh my gosh my shellac looks horrible over the past, um, oh, my throat is like really croaky. Oh, excuse me. Over the past like month, um, she's grown out of a lot of her 3T clothing. So they had this consignment sale at, <laughs> I want the church is close to here, but it started like hours ago. And I don't, I have a feeling the prices are going to be the same as like Target and everything. So I need to get her some more leggings and like a few. Just kind of cute shirts. Um, I like, I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's what I need to do. But I just wanted to thank you for watching my vlogs if you've been watching them. I know um, I'm kind of like rusty. I still need to get back into it. 
but um, I also really do like documenting the kids, with, which I don't think I got very much footage of them this week, um, but yeah, I just, I appreciate it. I know I'm boring. I'm working on it, or I'm, I'm not boring, but I don't know, like, when to record stuff, so I'm working on it. We're getting there. There she is. There's my pretty girl, so um, I'm going to go and probably get dressed and have some coffee, so um, my parents went to Costco, <laughs> so I'm like home alone and it's really, really strange. <sighs> These two nails of my shellac came off and I repainted them with Lincoln Park After Dark, which is actually really close to the color I'm wearing, but this finger is chipping off and it just is starting to look really bad, so... I'll probably do something about that today, and uh, I just realized I feel like I always wear my Tinkerbell pajamas in vlogs. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope y'all are having a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.